Hello learners. Now I will be discussing the new. So if you see here, now I will be discussing about the efficiency ratio, right? If you see what is efficiency ratio, first I will tell you this thing, right? So efficiency ratios are, is to be calculated in terms of days here. If you see, we are calculating efficiency ratios in terms of days, right? So if you see, our first ratio is receivable ratio and it is given 16, 22 and 21. For year 31st March 2021, here uh, receivable days are 16. What it shows? It shows that Dabur is able to recover their money from debtors within 16 days, right? So let's suppose if they are selling their product on 1st April 2021. So how long it takes to recover money from their debtors, right? So let's suppose they have sold goods on credit that is of 10 lakh rupees and debtor will be giving this money on 17th April 2021. So here, Dave is giving credit of 16 days and which is really a good credit, right? Other people or other manufacturing company, they provide a credit of 30, 60 or 90 days. Here, Dabur is giving credit of 16 days, which is good enough, right? In previous year, Dabur was giving a credit of 22 days. Now it is 16 days, which is very good enough, right? So the lesser will be the debtor's day. It means you won't be facing the cash crunch, right? Because you are able to withdraw your money from debtors uh, early period, right? If I talk about uh, inventory days, right? Inventory days generally means what do you do when you buy a raw material, right? So you keep your raw material and go down, right? For some days, right? After that, what you will do, you will bring your raw material into work in progress. And after that, you will convert this raw material into finished goods and you will sell this raw material into market, right? You will sell this raw material into market, right? Now, if you see here, so what is inventory days? Inventory days means how much time you require to convert your raw material into sales, right? This is generally what the inventory days. So here, Dabar is able to convert their raw material into sales, which is 45 days, which is good enough, right? Which is good enough. The shorter will be the inventory period. It means you won't be facing any liquidity or cash crunch in your organization, right? So here, if you see inventory days is 45 days, which is good enough, right? So what you can do, you can compare your inventory days, uh, Dabar inventory days with competitor inventory days, and you will get the idea right similarly if i talk about payable days payable days are here 159 right payable date mean payable days means they are buying raw material from their supplier and how many days uh it takes to repay their money so if you see they are recovering their money within 60 days but what they are doing they are paying to supplier within 159 days right here uh payable days uh, are very long right and it is good for company it is good for company if payable days are long and suppliers not they are not taking any action against that right if i talk about payable days of amazon so if you see the payable days of amazon it is minus 30 days it is minus 30 days what is the meaning of minus 30 days right what uh generally amazon do amazon take order from customer and they forward this order to whom they forward this order to the suppliers and what supplier will be doing supplier will be delivering this product to customer and customer will make the payment to whom they make the payment to amazon and now what amazon do amazon makes the payment to supplier after 60 days you can see here amazon they have not blocked their phone anywhere right they are getting free cash and they are using this cash and after 60 days they are giving this cash to the supplier similarly if you see here the payable days is 159 days which is a good news for supplier uh sorry uh dabber if supplier is not taking any action against him right now next is growth ratio huh? so these things we have already discussed when we were discussing about vertical and horizontal analysis right so there is no need of discussing this again at the time of horizontal analysis we have seen growth of every transaction right now if i talk about stability ratio financial stability ratio right here they have covered three ratios right first one is current ratio actually they have also covered debt to equity ratio here if you see debt to equity ratio is going to be almost zero why because 99 percent is equity and one percent is debt so that is the reason you can see just because of approximation effect here debt to equity ratio is zero because we have seen that 99 percent is equity right out of total capital dabar has invested or dabar has raised capital by uh, issuing 99% equity, right? So that portion is 1% and equity portion is 99. So that is the reason you are getting zero answer here, right? If I talk about current ratio, so what is current ratio? Current ratio formula is current asset divided by 
current liability now what actually is current ratio current ratio generally talks about that whether you are having sufficient current asset with you to repay your current liability right if uh, let's suppose your company is having 100 crore rupees current assets right and your current liability is of 200 crore rupees right so your uh, current ratio is going to be 0.5 right it, it is a dangerous situation why right? it is a dangerous situation because your liabilities current liability is far more than your current asset right so whenever creditor they want to take action against your company they will be taking your, uh, action against your company and if you are not able to repay to the creditors definitely it will ha having ne negative impact on your goodwill in market right so that is the reason if i talk about standard current ratio so standard current ratio is 2 is to 1 right it means company should uh, maintain double current asset as compared to their uh, current liability even though it is 1 to 1 1 is to 1 that is also okay right but your current asset should not be lesser than current liability right so here if you see here the current ratio of double is 1 is to 1 that is okay here it is 2 is to 1 that is also okay they are maintaining more current asset as they are compared to their current liability so sometimes creditor they may ask for the money and if you are refusing to give the money so they can file a suit against you right and court will give order to repay the money of creditors right so that is the reason we always say that your current asset should be higher than your current liability now what is quick ratio right so we know the formula of current asset right so current asset includes inventory it includes debtors it includes cash right so the total of these three items is going to be your current asset right and it also includes prepaid expenses right now what is the meaning of quick quick means immediately right quick means immediately so here let's suppose if your debtor is uh, your creditor is coming to you and he's asking for money right he's asking for his money now you just let me know is it possible for you to convert your prepaid expenses into cash definitely not definitely not right so here you won't be able to convert your prepaid expenses into cash let's suppose you have paid advanced tax to the government if i ask you to convert this uh, advanced tax into cash it is impossible right similarly you are having inventory with you you are having raw material with you is it possible for you to convert uh, your raw material into cash within few days because you have to make payment to your creditors definitely not definitely not so here basically we will be taking those assets which can be quickly converted into cash so debtor or cash at bank or you are having some marketable securities right if you are having some marketable securities those assets will be treated as a, a quick asset right so these are uh, this inventory and prepaid expenses will be kept out for the uh, calculation of quick ratio now what is the formula of quick ratio if i tell you the formula of quick ratio so formula of quick ratio is going to be i will write it here so quick ratio formula is going to be quick ratio is equal to uh, quick asset so quick asset uh, basically means current asset minus inventory minus prepaid expenses right so we will be excluding inventory and prepaid expenses and divided by current liability right this is what a quick asset ratio quick asset ratio should be one is to one right so here let's suppose you are having creditors of rupees 100 crore that is going to be your current liability so you should have debtors and cash balance of rupees at least 100 crore so if some creditor is coming to your donor and he's asking for money so immediately you should be capable of paying the money to your creditors right so your cash balance and data balance should be of 100 crore rupees at least right so this is what a quick ratio now if i talk about interest coverage ratio what is interest coverage ratio right first i will tell you the formula that what is the formula of interest coverage ratio right so formula of interest coverage ratio is this concept is very easy right interest coverage ratio formula is earning before interest and tax divided by interest liability whatever interest you have to pay during the year that interest we have to take here right now what is the logic behind interest coverage ratio if i explain you this concept so you will get it uh, very well with the help of pnl account i'm drawing a pnl account right here i have written sales right after sales what you will be doing you will be recording your expenses let's suppose cost of material consumed is 100 crore right salary which you have to pay is let's suppose 30 crore and you have incurred some other expenses that is 10 crore right now what will be your habit that is earning before interest and tax is going to be 100 minus uh, 140 crore that is going to be 60 crore right now what you have to do you have to pay interest let's suppose 
यू हैव बोरोड अ लोन ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड करोड़ है ना यू हैव बोरोड लोन फ्रॉम एस बी आई दैट इज हंड्रेड करोड़ एंड फॉर दिस हंड्रेड करोड़ लोन वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू पे टेन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट राइट टेन परसेंट एस बी आई लोन यू आर हैविंग हाउ मच इंटरेस्ट यू विल बी पेइंग यू विल बी पेइंग टेन करोड़ रुपीज इंटरेस्ट राइट नाउ यू नो वॉट बैंक विल बी डूइंग बिफोर सेंक्शनिंग यू द लोन बैंक विल चेक योर कैपेबिलिटी वेदर योर कंपनी इज अर्निंग सफिशियंट प्रॉफिट और नॉट right if your company is not earning sufficient profit na they won't be giving you loan right and every bank what they do they check this uh interest coverage ratio right now if you see here why we are taking ebit in numerator right because if you see once company has paid all the expenses right now whatever profit is remaining from this profit what company will be doing company will be making payment to the interest or you can say from abit first company will be making payment of interest so let's suppose if company has to make 50 crore interest payment right so what company will do company will pay 50 crore rupees from this 60 crore and remaining 10 crore will belong to equity shareholder right here company has to pay 10 crore interest so remaining 50 crore belongs to whom this 50 crore belongs to equity share holder right now if you see company is having 60 crore so let's suppose if a uh, company has to pay 60 crore interest instead of 10 crore so what company will do company will pay your interest to you full list right first company will be paying your interest now after that whatever amount is remaining that is to be paid to equity shareholders so if you see this whole profit belongs to whom this whole profit first belongs to lender right once lenders will be withdrawing their money and remaining profit belongs to whom equity shareholder right so you can see here how much coverage you are having let's suppose you are a bank and you are able to see that company's abit is 60 crore and you want 10 crore rupees from a uh, company uh, your interest amount is 10 crore rupees which you want from your company so you will be thinking yeah yeah i am getting uh, company is having six times abit right six times more interest company is able to earn so there is less risk right so that is the reason company check abit every, every time right company check interest coverage ratio every time so abit is 60 crore and interest uh, uh, expenses 10 crore so here if you see so what is interest coverage ratio here so interest coverage ratio is 6 times here right so it means it is providing you good coverage right it is providing you good coverage now in case of dabar if you see interest coverage ratio is 185 why it is 185 because you know here dabar is having only 1% Uh, loan as compared to total capital. You know, this thing we have several times discussed. So Dabar has to pay very little bit interest, right? And abit of Dabar is so huge now, and interest amount is so less. So if they are dividing their abit uh, from uh, this interest, so their uh, interest coverage issue is so high, right? So every bank will be ready to give loan to the Dabar. Okay. So thanks a lot, guys. We have discussed about ratio analysis. So stay tuned with us for more and better learning.